Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Play Pain of Life. Hope you guys are having a good, what is it, Tuesday evening? Yeah, Tuesday evening. Um, and I'm going to be painting on XSplit here, so yeah, we may get some lag because XSplit generally can be kind of bad. So <laughs> this is, uh, is going to be interesting. I'm going to see how I'm doing with my live stream and see if I can uh, if I can go check out my live stream since I cannot view our uh, cannot view my current live stream right now there should be a live stream there it is um, how do I view this on the watch page I didn't view this on the watch page. So, sorry guys, I'm still learning everything right now. Um, how do you how do you view how do you view me? Uh oh, rot row. Let me go out of that. I'm not sure how how we view these. Um, I'm really sure how we view our chat. Let's see. Stream options, create highlights. Oh, here's the chat right there. Okay, now I see it. Let's go to live chat. So, if anyone is, if anyone does tune in, please leave me a message on chat because I don't know if this is uh, working or not. <laughs> Please, let me ask. Let me ask. I'll type it in. Let's try that. There. I don't know. Maybe it'll show. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I don't know. We'll just. We'll just paint. Let's we'll just do what we do, which is paint. Sure. Did that work? And that helps a little bit. Okay, so tonight we're painting Cassandra. Here she is in all of her glory. Not sure why can't get this camera to desaturate. This is not the best. Let's see if it will let me control the camera right now, so that I can focus in a little bit on Cassandra here. Um. But you can see I'm not going with the standard red on the dress. This is a little annoying, that little little seam there. I thought I was going to be able to fix that with uh, uh, with a little bit of plastic cement. Also got a little bit of a little bit of a delay going on, but that's okay. How do I go to? Oh, it's not even going to let me. Wow, I can't even control my camera once this thing starts. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I have no camera control. So, this is what we got. I hope, I hope your screen looks a little better than mine. I'll try to bring it in a little bit. Hey, what's up, Nelson? Try to bring it in a little bit, but it's not its not the best. Let's just be real. Uh, just trying to make do here without the Google Hangouts. Google strip live stream used to be so easy, and then every couple of years, somebody steps in and decides to make it difficult. Right? Wow, that looks absolutely terrible on screen, let me just say. Um, let's paint some uh, Basilicanum Gray. If I can find it, here it is. Hope you're having a good one, Nelson. I am just trying to make this uh, this new YouTube thing work for me. Um, but here we go. I sound different. Yeah, I haven't fired up XSplit in a while. 
um, XSplit. I, the reason why I don't use XSplit, even though it's it's a pretty damn cool interface, is it's just too taxing on the system. You know, OBS is nice uh, as a more compact system, right? It's just a little nicer to run on your computer than XSplit. If, if XSplit was a little bit more compact, I would probably run XSplit more. Because XSplit has better, it has some really, well not better, but it has good some good features to it. And it was a good streaming um, system back in the day when we were playing like Batman and that kind of stuff. Was I could do XSplit and simulcast onto YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Uh, which XSplit still allows you to do, um, but uh, Twitch doesn't allow that if you are a Twitch affiliate, which is something I'm probably gonna try to quit anyway. If I'm being honest with you, I'm, I'm no longer no longer interested in being a Twitch affiliate. It just it's it, it's no longer appealing to me. But uh, right now we're gonna paint some Cassandra. Um, and oh, she has, oh, that's interesting, okay, so she has stockings on here, but these are boots, so the boots are going to be black, so I don't need to actually paint them basilicanum gray, because they're just going to be, they're just going to be black. She's a fairly simple model, but lots of weird angles, like lots of tough places to get in and paint like back here, back of the leg in between the leg in between the the dress that just kind of wraps around like this so are you working on anything tonight? yeah you never yeah it, it's Twitch's Twitch, Twitch was an experiment that you know, I tried a couple years ago. I don't, you know, it. I don't blame Twitch for me not really gaining traction there. I just didn't jive with Twitch, right? It the everybody has weird shit on their screen, and it's all about weird point. Everyone has like points, and there's all this like extra crap that you do on Twitch. And I was like, well, my stream is just me like painting there's no I don't have I don't do that extra stuff it just seems to me it just seems like a waste of time like I'm not interested in like the cute point system or the spinny wheel or wow what else and, and furthermore I, I'm not clean enough for twitch I'm not <laughs> I'm not and I know twitch is a Twitch is famous for having the Twitch thoughts and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'm far more offensive than a Twitch thought because my some of my comments might not be, you know, PC. So, and I don't have, I can't be like, uh, uh, I forget her name, whatever that chick's name that gets away with saying all kinds of stuff like she says the n-word and stuff on her stream it's never been banned um you know went after PewDiePie I forget her name but you know what I mean like that chick is just absolutely untouchable but uh no I'm not I'm where Twitch is just Twitch just didn't work out for me I I have to figure out how to get off of the affiliate program because you end up like you know, I don't make if I don't make enough money on subs or something like you end up owing the money which is stupid okay so we're gonna let that dry a little bit oops I missed a spot here but yeah um, so I've been going really, really slow with the uh, Colette crew. Um, it's because, I don't know, I already have a Colette crew, and I really want to more enjoy just kind of painting these at my leisure. 
So, um, but Colette and Cassandra are very fun. So we're getting Cassandra underway. If you're attractive apprentice, <laughs> yeah, it's true. You can say whatever you want. Um, but you know, guys like us, we we there's a different set of rules for us. So we we're not allowed to do that kind of stuff. Like we can't even say like, oh, I don't think Elizabeth Warren is a good presidential. Like, we'll just get banned for saying stuff like, beep it, you know, <laughs> you know that kind of stuff. <laughs> All right, let's put her away for a second. I'm just gonna paint up some corpse markers real quick. These are super fast. Um, I'll show you a a real cheat, like a real fast way to do. Um, Undead, the weird, the way undead, the way weird does it. It's pretty easy. So I've got these are just literally just like piles of body parts and stuff. Okay, and the way to do this is get some Griff Charger Gray, and you just start there. I I, I have a feeling I'm lagging right now. Probably. Some Griff Charger Gray, and just paint the whole, paint the mold Griff Charger Gray, and this is gonna form like an undercoat. You can see all the guts and gore. They're just piles of gore. Interesting. And that, dude, that's just like innards. <laughs> You're gonna make that look cool, I think. And this one has, this one at least has like some skulls in it. It's got a couple skulls in it, so I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna like flip flop back and forth, painting this and painting uh, Cassandra there. Yeah, so now that Hangouts is down, I don't have a way to tweet out that I'm streaming. I don't have an easy way to stream. I'm gonna turn on this garbage. Uh, what I might end up doing actually is I'll probably just quit Twitch entirely and just set OBS to broadcast to YouTube. Uh, cause then I think it would be easier. All right, let's go back to Cassandra for a minute. Uh, so you're fine. You actually just it sounds a little different. You have a neat oh, as if I have nasal congestion. Maybe I do. I might have a little bit of something. I don't think so though. Although there's a couple people around me getting sick. That's a little scary. Okay, so we're going to go, I guess, black panties here on Cassandra. And you're going to be real careful with this contrast paint because you don't want to make a mistake. You don't want to, you don't want this black showing up someplace it's not supposed to be on the model. Like, you don't want to put a paint like a black streak in the middle of a leg. That's super bad. So I know these are kind of boring bloomers I got going here on Cassandra. It's okay. Um, yeah. Are you at a are you planning on um, playing this weekend, Nelson? Coming and playing uh, Malfa with us on Sunday? Curious. Alright. I mean, there's not much to her. Honestly, 
Um, I forgot how I did the rest of... I think I just do... Like some snake bite leather. You can see the base coating is super easy on these pieces. And, and frankly, they look pretty good with just a simple base coat. So you don't need to do too much. It's a simple old base coat and you know, just a nice clean look. Pretty good. I'm not sure why her hair is kinda greenish. Let's try to fix that. So I'm going to paint it white. That's a one downside to contrast paints. When you screw up, you got to go back with white, and then you can apply the contrast color that you intended. Here's the. So this is kind of. I've kind of like painted the saloon a little bit but this is almost like a like a, a like an abandoned saloon right so you have like the four things here Jason and Mike wants to play Legion oh cool yeah well hey play Legion if you haven't played in a while I don't blame you <laughs> Yeah, um, I have lately been investing in my channel, in my YouTube channel specifically. Um, so uh, I went out, picked up a decent camera. So I've got a decent video camera now. The idea is I really want to up the quality level of my battle reports, uh, especially in light of playing games like Malifo. Where, uh, where it's very hard. It's very hard to uh, to find good battle reports for Malifo, at least quantity. There are the few people that do battle reports for Malifo tend to put together super high quality battle reports, or they're super trash because it's a tough game. So just a much tougher game to film than, uh, uh, than say, Guild Ball. I'm going to fix something. So now, oh, well, I kind of screwed that up, but let's do black, let's do, you know, we got to do black Templar on the boots. Make sure that's right. So Cassandra is pretty straightforward in her. Paint scheme. All, right. All I really did was um, just change the the main body of the dress from red to this like turquoise color. I just think it's more interesting. And her dress with the with like the gold um, bordering. It reminds me of like almost like an Asian style dress. She does kind of remind me of like she's wearing almost like a Chinese style dress. And a better painter than me would probably get in there and do some freehand on the train of the dress. Okay. 
So there we go. But yeah, I understand she's kind of boring, but she's going to look great when she's done. Uh, so, okay, let's go back to the guts for a minute. So now I want to put in another color, and I'm going to put in some blood red uh, just in certain spots. Just to help kind of convey the idea that this is a corpse marker. So I'm just going to put in some blood red and really kind of thin it out, like move it around. So it's not, I don't want it to look completely just super, super bright red. I just want that blood to be in little spots like that. All right. So I'm glad you're enjoying uh, Legion. That's cool. And, and Jason and Michael still play Legion. That's cool. Okay. That's probably a lot of... <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, she's, she's kind of boring to me anyway. There's just not much... There's not much interesting stuff to paint on her. She's just a good sculpt. Is kind of how I look at it. She's just a good sculpt. Alright, so now... Got a little bit of corpse bits going on right here. And now... Um, we're going to switch over to, this is something unusual that I've been doing lately, is actually blending some of these um, contrast paints together. So, I want to give her gloves kind of a sheer look. Oh wow, 16 players, wow nice. That's, that's awesome man. Alright. That's great. It's a good. That's a good size meta. Uh, I didn't, actually, I think her, I think your gloves need to be black. So I may come back and do these black. Yeah, this this looks weird up here. I think we'll just do them black to match the uh, to match the boots at the bottom there. I think the most surprising thing about that, Nelson, is that isn't there only, like, essentially two factions in Star Wars? <laughs> so to get 16 players, I understand it's Star Wars and people will play it just because it's Star Wars, but that's actually pretty impressive to me. That's like X-Wing too, though. You know, even though X-Wing also had, they had the third faction, which I don't recall off the top of my head. a lot better with black. Oh, there's there's four factions now. That's cool. And they've managed to uh, keep game balance under control. There isn't, like, completely bonkers stuff, you know, 
Like, I'm going to field four AT-ATs or something like that. I cannot get that little quick of the elbow there. There we go. There. There, now she looks a little more starting to come together there. Look a little more professional looking. Still somewhat boring, but we love her. It's fine. Um, what I am going to do is there's some areas that just need a little bit of cleanup on her. You know, as much as I love the contrast paints, sometimes you can... Sometimes you can... It will leave a, a somewhat uneven appearance, and it kind of drives me crazy. So, so yeah, I don't know. But uh, it's a, it's been a good time for like all of the games I've been playing. Cause there's just a lot of stuff out right now, right? There's new new stuff for Aristea. Malifaux in a new edition. There was recently the Guild Ball uh, Guild Ball Errata came out on Monday, so it's a good time for all of those games. And uh, and I want to. I wish I had time to play all of them. The only reason me growing so well due to release, it's very balanced. That's good. That's good, man. Good job. I, I know that uh, I've, I've heard stories that Fantasy Flight has not done that so well in the past. So that's good. Yeah, I don't know. It's a great mini. She just seems to be missing something. I can't. I cannot put my finger on what she's missing. I do not know. Let's uh. Let's use some of this liner here. And dirty up my floor. Right. Dirty up my floorboards a little bit. There you go. And out here. Okay. And I also want to do an edge highlight here for this sword. But yeah, went out, picked up a decent camera, um, and maybe investing in a little bit of like microphone, sound system, that kind of stuff. Just to, just to really kind of punch up um, the battle reports. I want, I want to do more battle reports on the channel. And I want them to be good. Like, I want to do, I want to do high quality stuff now. Maybe not high quality, but like better quality, we'll just say. Better quality than what I put out before. You know, try to get, try to really up the technical aspect of the channel. That would be nice. Oh, it's just not a great sword to do that to. That's okay. Got a good blade there. It's just, she's just so, it's just such a simple thing. Um, let's do some Gilliman flesh on the dress. In fact, see that weird little dimple there on her shoulder? It's just too, her shoulder is just a little too dark. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. 
right? By going a really thin patch of off white. And then we'll clean it up. Okay. Are you still working uh, a lot of late hours and stuff at work? That's always a double-edged sword, right? You know, late hours kind of sucks, but making money is also really kind of nice. And this is just going to burnish the gold trim here. Right. Kind of settle that out a little bit. Okay. Alright. We'll give her a minute to dry. And then we're going to switch back over to the corpse markers. And back over... back over to here. I'm going to answer a thing. So there's that. Just another deal. I just originated. Oh, cool. Nice, man. Wow. 60 hours a week. Wow. Yeah. Gotta make that paper, though. That's good, man. I still need to uh, talk to you about you know, trying to get my mortgage down a little bit so that uh, the idea there being save a little money and, uh, you know, either look at buying another house down the road or, uh, or you know, just having a little bit more money in pocket. Take some of the the pressure off of uh, everything else, you know. Hey, what's up, Kevin? <laughs> Painting some corpse markers because why not? And just painting up Cassandra. I'm not, uh, I mean, this is what, you caught me in an instance here where I'm not really rushing anything. I'm just painting. <laughs> There's like, I want to get this corpse markers done so that I can do demos. And I also have grave robbers, but I don't need the grave robbers to do the demos. Nor do I need performers. As much as I love the performer sculpts, I do not need performers. It's sad. They're not, I... I don't think they're good. I do not think they're good in M3E. I don't think it's a good model. Well, the minis are awesome, but it's just a shame. It's not. I don't feel like they're they're a worthwhile uh, pick into a collect crew. With uh, Cassandra, Angelica, the duet, and then spiders eating up all your points. <laughs> You're rushing. <laughs> I was gonna pick up uh, another commission this week, but uh, the guy never got back to me. So I was like, okay, well, let's paint slow. Did you see that uh, 
the Nicodem crew that I uh, finished. Tank man, they look so fun, but it's not. That's definitely not a viable crew the way I have it. I just it's only good enough to like play a demo and like do. It's really designed to just do cool stuff during a demo. It wasn't even really designed to like win the demo. It's like, uh, yeah, we'll make some more samurai things or we'll summon a, a flesh construct. There really isn't a whole lot of uh, <clears throat> potent stuff there. Spiders are rough, man. Did I tell you I played against Sean's Rasputina the other day with Ramos? And basically just walked, just walked right through Rasputina. Because I had a swarm, I had a swarm and I had, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Shoot. The swarm and the saw blade spider. And between the two of them, they just, they just melted Rasputina. Like ripped all, walked up and just ripped her. Because one thing Ramos does have is he's got good ways of healing constructs. Yeah, he's Dead Man's Hand. So I'm Nick of them and I have Ramos. Because why not play Dead Man's Hand for fun? I think I should use the darker. They're both summoners, you know. I think part of one of the things that they that the developers wanted to do was kind of tone down summoners or even just outright get rid of some of them. So you can see really two of the biggest summoners in the game are out. Um, but hey, there's still Dreamer. You can still summon Stitched. Because that's, you know, we could have couldn't have Rainbow summoning three point bugs, but uh, you know, stitched, yeah, they think those can come in. <laughs> salt. So much salt. Damn stitched. That shit's ridiculous, man. I'm just telling you. Stitched is ridiculous. That's not okay. I'm like, yeah, I get to win duels anytime I want, and I'm death six. What the shit? I like Raspy a lot. Just a huge board control. Yeah, Raspy's cool. Well, she's she's. I, I feel like she's mainly board control, and then you kind of. I feel like you kind of craft your hand. To get to a particular turn where you you know where you've assembled enough masks to just triple December's curse and onslaught each time, so you're probably going to spend, in my opinion, you spend at least one turn a game doing that. You know, you you control the board, but then. At one point during the game, you're like, okay, ready to just unload. I've got, you know, some high masks in hand. I've got some soul stones. Um, or, yeah, or you have soul stones to just give yourself masks if, you, if you've assembled a good hand. And you just fry shit. When I was playing with those chips. <laughs> yeah, and I think the Blessed is pretty awesome. I, I don't think you need bugs in Rasputina or Marcus. Not that they would hurt, or, or Sandeep. I don't think those crews need the bugs. But I think the other Arcanists need the bugs. I think Karis needs bugs. Um, Colette is a lot better. She doesn't need bugs, but she's a lot better with bugs. And then I also think... Uh, um, Here's the other one. Ramos for sure gets Ramos is bugs. Tony Ironsides could probably use bugs. I don't know.
but I think I don't like I want to tell the internet that I think the bugs are so good with Colette because Colette synergizes with them no oh. get an audio super quiet is that on this stream sorry is my well you guys can tell me if my audio is super quiet But I do think the the bugs have a lot a lot more synergy with Colette than I think people realize, right? Like the large the large steam arachnid um, really likes to discard scheme markers or scrap markers to get the plus flips on all duels. Well, you know who can get simultaneously put you where you want to be and put you next to a scheme marker when you need to. Well, guess who? It's this crew. And not only that, the other guy has no way of getting rid of that scheme marker unless you have, unless the other guy has Don't Mind Me or Arson. Arson is the other one where you can, you can get rid of a, a guy's scheme marker. So I think, so there's that. And then with the Swarm, it's really just about position, keeping this one out of trouble long enough and then positioning it off to where it can go hit exactly what it needs to hit. Right? Colette can just surgically put that where it needs to be. And that is stupidly powerful. <clears throat> well, I think it might be a comment on one of my other videos. Audio always seems to be kind of an issue with stuff I with my online stuff. I've never really been good at audio. I did I, my new setup though. My my Natraport setup does have a couple of lapel mics built in now, so um, so we can. We can wire up the people who are playing, um, and then my camera is capable. My new camera is capable of streaming, but uh, it's 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 actually really good at just taking cinematic, you know, cinematic style 1080p. It's good at that. So you're probably you're most likely going to be playing McCabe this weekend. That's dope. I haven't seen really what McCabe does in M3E yet. It's a good time to be gaming. Like I was saying, you got M3E is out, and we're having a lot of fun playing that. Gilball got their errata. Gilball errata looks super fun. Um, Aristea got new stuff. Good time to be just playing, playing a bunch of a bunch of games. Oh man! Now that I think about it, I shouldn't have painted the. Rims black. Now they just look like regular models. Dull. Dull. Should have painted them green. Oh well. It's okay. On the bat reps, you'll see that and go, "Hey, here's my, here's my uh, corpse counter, my corpse marker." You know, Kate does either. <laughs> All I know is you have wastrels that just walk out, walk out through trapdoors. <laughs> That's amazing.
there's two boxes of McCabe at CQ if you want the the they're actually one version 1.5 boxes which is kind of awesome if I get bored enough I might buy something like that although at this point man the, the one that's calling me right now is freaking McMorning ah that crew looks so fun McMorning, Lynch, Mayfang, those are all those are all the good looking the excitement crews well, I have Mayfang coming in the mail but I'll probably play it for a week or two and sell it to Nelson <laughs> and let Nelson build the railroads Nelson built the railroads in Malifo. Yeah, Kieran Lowe is nuts, man. Like, I, I feel like I need to watch footage of somebody beating Yan Lowe in order to figure out how do you beat Yan Lowe. I have no interest in Tony. I want the captain. I, I, I want him. I'm thinking of buying the M2E Tony box because I could see a couple of instances where I would want an Oxfordian mage instead of, a, I forget, the ones that, what comes, the new Tony box I think comes with steam fitters now. Something like that. Um, you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they did. I haven't listened to it yet. I swear to God, if they say especially, I'm going to hurt somebody. I'm going to hurt somebody. They say, if I have to hear another person say especially, the, not only do they say especially, the, the host says especially, but one of the um, one of the devs for Weird got on, and he says especially. That's not a word, people. Especially is not a word. <laughs> it's pissing me off already. It's like when people use the, the other one that, that, that freaks me out is when people use uh, they use the word then t h e n instead of van t h a n. It's like oh, better than you. I hate that. It's terrible. Just ah. Oh. <laughs> Just tries. Yeah. See? She knows what's up. That's why. Because it's, it's not a word. <laughs> if I have to hear another person tell me, especially, they're going to pay. Alright. Let's fix this uh, shoulder here on Cassandra. Yeah. There's like. So. So there's the um, schemes and stones. Their host says, especially he got he gets a word representative on who says the word especially. Then you have the Guild Ball pa um, uh, podcasts, and like half of them say especially, not the British ones, not the English ones, because they don't they they, ne they they don't really talk that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that just drives me crazy. Then, then, and especially. So terrible. Like, you should be ashamed of yourself. My wife is the English teacher, not me. But, so her thing is, you know, there, there, and there. Which, I'm more forgiving of that. Especially. Like, there, there, and there is an actual word. Then and then drives me crazy, though. We'll say that. That's not okay. <laughs> no one should have to deal with then and then. <clears throat> Let's 
let's highlight let's highlight her hair. Man, those I, I'm gonna have to get I feel like I, I'm gonna have to get good enough with Colette to the point where I can field performers as almost a throwaway pick. They need to be able to do I don't know if you remember M2E where seduction they had was um, seduction would would wreck opposing scheme markers or enemy scheme markers. So and they were also like mercenary status, so a lot of like off crews would take um, performers because you can do cool stuff like that and now you can't and now I, I really struggle to see why would I spend five points on them you know five points on a model with lore and no good attacks you know it's not like lore it's not like a beckoner lore where you know you can attach brilliance it's nothing like that you can attach distracted but distracted is trash compared to bro distracted is one of the one of the weakest um, conditions unless uh, until you stack it and if you're stacking it then your opponent really doesn't care at that point like once you get past three distracted um, the opponent is at that point just does not care that you're continue continuing to distract them the the main issue is when you when you add distracted to stunned right if you uh, if you can if you can get those two working then it becomes a, a pain but distracted by itself isn't that great yeah a lot of five soul stone models but that um, aren't death marshals five soul stones I think death marshals and maybe witchling stalkers I guess guild has a lot of good five soul stone models uh, Death Stalker, uh, sorry, uh, Death Marshals, Witchling Stalkers, um, what's it called? Wardens are five soul stones. Um, Union Miners are five soul stones, and that's a pretty good pick, in my opinion. Just because, the, just for false claim, file false claim, and then the ability to, you know, get pluses on their, um, on their defense flips and stuff. It, they're a decent five soul stone model. I feel like showgirls are not good though. Then there's like two keys. <laughs> yeah. Then they're stitched together. It's it's true though. Six soul stone models, uh, it seems like most factions have extremely good six soul stone models. But once you get to five soul stones, most of the time they're not that great. Um, I think. Now I gotta decide: do I want to paint something else? I guess I could. Let's paint. Let's paint one more thing. Sure. Let's do it. Let's paint. Uh, we should paint this guy. Cause this guy's awesome. This guy is awesome. Right? We should paint this dude. <clears throat> and then he has... I guess I paint him and the female one at the same time? I don't know. She's pretty cool. No, 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 no. Maybe she she can wait. She can wait. She'll just be something I paint at another time. I figured this would be fun with Nicodem because you have this guy and then you have Mortimer. And that's like an abundance of corpse markers. And again, if you're just playing a demo, these things and, and all you're going to summon are punk zombies. 
then it's more it's these are almost just more for entertainment you gotta be in good shape to haul these bodies around look at them it's pretty pretty yoked out dude for this is a six point model okay you're very good at painting multiple things <laughs> Yeah, it's like you develop this, uh, you develop like a painting ADHD. <laughs> you just jump around. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I used to really, like, when I was playing 40K, you know, I would paint squad after squad after squad, and then you'd stop, and then paint, like, one super cool character or whatever. Dude, that's the, just a full-on butt shot right there. I didn't even realize. It's just someone's ass hanging out. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, so you'd stop and then spend, like, the better part of an evening painting a, some kind of a commander or something like that. And it would feel pretty fun to do, right? Um, but then... You spent so much time just batch painting stuff that by the time you got to the to the commander, it's like the night before you're gonna play, and so you you, you know instead of you know leisurely enjoying it, suddenly you're rushing rush painting that one guy, and it's no fun anyway. And that sucked. But painting stuff like this is, I don't know, this, especially in this type of setting, this isn't batch painting. I don't consider this batch painting. Batch painting for me is like, there better be like, you know, five to nine of the same model. <laughs> That's a batch paint. This is a, I mean, this is a, this is a mass paint, I guess. So you're painting multiple pieces at the same time and just bouncing around. I probably should be less careful and just paint more of this. That's okay. So as long as these are sort of grays and browns and they all just kind of run together, that's fine. Just pick some random. Oops. I should actually do his his outfit more like that. Oops. This guy is pretty damn awesome, though. Resors don't seem like it's an aesthetic I would like, because it's, you know, I like, 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 really clean, flashy-looking stuff, and so dead bodies does not really, dead bodies and zombies and stuff doesn't really fit that, but they're fun just because they have a lot of fun, like, a lot of fun character to them. So yeah, like I normally wouldn't think just painting up a buff man's dragging around a giant pile of bodies would be very fun, but it is. Yeah. Let's just hit all 
lantern shade there. Okay, now we can actually start the painting here. So I'm going to skeleton hoard like almost this in. Oh, shoot. Well, whatever. I really like missing stuff right now. Maybe I'm screwing around way too much. some VCAT the other day with uh, Aaron. That was pretty dope. VCAT and Midas are, are that's fun now. I feel like they're, they may not be the most competitive team, but they're they're definitely good, like solid now. Like the, Midas actually has another viable strategy added to what he can do. You know, it's not just 3-0 that I was, in some cases, like, forcing to be a 2-2. Like, if I, if I was playing against somebody that I don't, did, that would have a harder time brawling with me, I could play a 2-2. But now I have, actually have a legitimate I feel like Midas and VCAT um, opens up that lineup to where you can build a fairly reliable 2-2 game with them. Um, VCAT isn't going to be picked every time, but there's suddenly a lot more reasons to look at him instead of OCAT. Now, in my opinion, really the main thing OCAT brings is um, he's a little bit better utility on the pushes, but he's also better at getting the uh, at turning on your strikers, like your like your um, uh, Crucible and uh, Crucible Vitriol. Those characters um, rely a lot on OCAT. To, as a sort of a passive start, um, but you, you, with VCAT, you suddenly have this really, really bursty takeout game, and, you know, it's not as important now to get those strikers going. Now those strikers kind of play more of what, uh, like, a, okay, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be option strikers now. We're going to, we're going to be, we're going to generate some momentum. We're going to try not to die. And we're just going to be these awesome, you know, while the opponent is sweating balls over, okay, how did they just let VCAT into their, into their, uh, their scrum and he's just wrecking people and gaining a shit ton of momentum. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, dude. I've been, you know, so me and Aaron played the game, and I was like, dude, like yesterday, or today, I was like, uh, you know, my afternoon was, was pretty clear. So I, like, hit him up, I'm like, hey, are you around for a game? <laughs> but he wasn't. But I just like that, like, um, now your choice of cat is not straightforward, and you have different supporting, you have a different supporting cast, um, and the cats play a different role, like, V-Cat, in the, in, where you'll see him picked is where you have uh, an opponent that's either super football-y, which oh, I almost never run into, but, um, or, or if there's an opponent that has 
like lots of one inch melee and not great ranged plays. So Union. VCAT is pretty strong into Union teams. Um, and he's not, I don't imagine he's bad against um, Order either. Because, you know, in the, they also don't have a lot of two inch melee. He's probably terrible. Uh, he's definitely terrible against hunters. He's probably terrible against uh, farmers. Um, uh, he's probably he could be okay against farmers. I could see him being okay against farmers. Um, he could be probably okay against some mortician builds, and then probably not okay against butchers. Although, man, who's playing butchers now? Butchers are going to be abandoned by a big, big chunk of the meta, obviously. Who, so who sits off? For me now, it's it's uh, compound. It's compound, and then uh, if I have to get rid of another player, ooh, that's a tough one. Smoke. <laughs> for me <laughs> smoke gets kicked off the 12 <laughs> actually that shouldn't surprise you <laughs> I'm at the point where even even if I were like trying to play seriously and competitively smoke would still not make my 12 just because I just I don't play her I don't she does not her playstyle just does not resonate with me. It's going to be tougher now with uh, with Kami coming in too. But people are telling me that Kami is a the choose a smoke pick, which makes me super sad because like I want an Asian chick on Midas's team. <laughs> yeah, dude, no smoke on my team. <laughs> That's a lot of people know me. <laughs> Why would you do that? I, I do want to play. I would love to go and play in a full weekend, two day event. And just play Midas the entire time. I would, I would do that. Yeah, you undervalued Honor. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like I, Honor's got me kind of like, oh man, that's my, that's my, my grill. She's been with me a long time. I need to be loyal. The one thing about honor, though, is is people now need to relearn honor with her new efficiencies, and and I love that now it's even more like super cool squatty play with honor, and it's it's not and there's a the emphasis on you know family. That's cool. Because I could still see, I could still see, you know, taking honor with uh, V harm. You may have some play there. It probably not the best pick, but it could happen. Like there may be like some corner cases where you like forget family, don't need it. I'll play some V harm because I need the condition clearing. And the heals. Or not really heals, but you know, damage absorption, I guess. Hammers too good. Corbelli matches hammers. Man. True. Yeah, that's all still true. But the 
there's going to be a segment of people, probably like myself, that really like Honor and will make her work. And there will be different preferences for those players too. Some of them will want Hammers to be captain. Some of them will want Corbelli. I will probably want Corbelli as my B captain because <laughs> when if I'm playing Honor, I'm probably going to play her into every matchup anyway. Uh, but two, um, Corbelli is still super fun to me. So yeah, man, why did I have to go and switch the event? to Malifaux right after a freaking errata got, gets launched or gets released. Good timing, Octave. Damn it. All good, though. This will give people some time to gear up, practice up, and see. It would be nice to just kind of throw people in raw, though. Like, here's the Rorata. Figure your, your new shit out. It would be a great way to learn. VCAT is very fun to play. He's he can I can see him being very frustrating though if you don't know when to apply him to the game. Because I think that's key. Is because he he's still a huge liability. And Midas's ability to control or you know to help control the engagement who and where and when he strikes and where, where VCAT is engaged is the reason why he's a great pick into uh, Midas or with Midas. But he's also still a very solid pick with Smoke just because Smoke can hand out conditions like candy. Um, and if you're going to play you know, that sort of backfield weight defense, well, you can keep VCAT reasonably out of trouble long enough to come in and, you know, start putting the hurt down on on teams that were standoffish and coming in at the wrong time. So you can see that, too. I don't think VCAT's like the miracle drug to save Alchemist, but he, for me, he just represents... Um, this new avenue to where it's like, okay, well, maybe I don't need vitriol every game. Maybe I don't need mercury with VCAT. Maybe VCAT is, you know, venom is a great choice with VCAT. Uh, either calculus, very good choices with VCAT. So he just kind of opens up the roster for me a little bit more. And he does give me that, like, he had... In, in my game against Aaron, he killed uh, he killed three squaddies in the mascot. And just like every time he activated, something died. Uh, every time he activated after the first turn, something died. Yeah, I hope we get a good turn out to you. Um, like my personal plan for Malifo is if nobody else like steps up and picks it up, um, then my personal plan is you know maybe we run a Malifo event once per quarter, you know. So instead of so we give up one go ball event every every three months to run a Malifo event. That's my plan. If nobody comes forward and says okay yeah I'll 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 schedule the Malifo events. Yeah. Dude, VCAT was he was strong, man. He was strong.
I think. I'm not sure. Maybe he. No, he should probably be black. His outfit should be black. So now you just paint random clothes. Just like that. And then uh, just throw some some ultramarine blue. It was just nice to have the model back out. And it did for me because, you know, you remember uh, you remember my season three Midas team? It felt a little like that. <laughs> I was like, "Damn, I could actually run that season three Midas team now." That full lineup. Uh, it was the four V's, right? Vitriol, Vitriol V Cat, um, V Calc, and Venom with Naja and Midas. That was the that was the season three team. Now you can run that again. Dang, so dope, man. I'm pumped around the Jesus boys. Yes. Ah! Can I just do that? Stupid GW things. Oh man, I think order is so stupidly strong. Like, as in, like, not fair strong. They're strong. Hmm. It was a good team, and I'm gonna. I need to just like for for the nostalgia, run it again. But it's a solid team again. I think that team can that team can can do damage again. All right. New tapper hype. Oh, that. Tapper may be approaching levels of filth, man. <laughs> He's really strong. <laughs> he sounds really, really strong. Farmers and miners. I know, they didn't touch miners. Miners are still top tier. What up, Andrew? So Andrew, we talk, we we're, were talking about doing. Well, I'll tell you guys this right now. Um, uh, 
so Andrew and I were talking about doing um, like a Malifaux discussion slash review or whatever on a live stream um, and with them with YouTube taking Hangouts away if it the audio actually works well I'm not asking you to like to do that tonight because it's getting pretty late I was uh, I was saying like for future we need to to see if that's actually going to work you know instead of a hangout then we can get multiple people into that on air thing and we can have a you know we can have that discussion um, it would be cool to hear like a bunch of people talking about Malfo or Guild Ball kind of all at the same time I think that'd be pretty sick Hard. It's like been tougher and tougher to get Thursdays going. But yeah, if that Discord works, um, we should just we should just do like almost like an informal podcast, right? I'll just stream the show. And then you guys can just hop on and, you know, we can talk about uh, gaming stuff. It would be our unofficial podcast. This guy's pretty dope, man. He's pretty dope. Yeah, maybe, and you know, if we can... I could try to make it like a weekly spot, right? Like, maybe every Wednesday night or every Sunday night or something like that. Um, you know, I kick on the, the Discord and turn the stream on, and then you guys can hop on, and um, we can talk about whatever the hell the latest is. Alright. Getting close, man. He's getting close. There's that dope turquoise. Get him um, turquoise scarf. So he has like a fancy. He just has a fancy scarf. Don't mind him and his fancy scarf. The same color shorts. Rezzer stuff is like so busy. Yes, the, the pit podcast. The pit cast. I like that. That's a cool name. We can just invite people in our local meta. <laughs> we can have like Regan come on. Regan, talk about what teams you want to play now. Because before it was like the people that hop in the, the Discord are like Mark and Blade Wolf usually. And they're cool, and they'll talk games and stuff with with all of us. I'll see if I can just get like other people that we hardly ever game with on too, though. <laughs> that would be kind of awesome. Half your Mc your McCabe crew, dang. 
At least they're built, man. We got that far. This dude here, he'll be done tonight. I should. He's gonna be part of a demo because he's cool. Let's finish this dude. He's kind of dope. Damn. I'm secretly a Lazarus player. i just dirty up this entire thing. Ooh, too dirty. You're coming Sunday? Nice. Yeah, we'll see. I would, if I'm being honest, I, I'm hoping that I am busy running demos the entire time Sunday, because that's a super good sign. Like you know when we do guild ball stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I'll do demos that day, and I'm secretly hoping, eh, hopefully no one shows up for demos and the, the numbers uneven so I can play guild ball. <laughs> well, I would rather. In this case, I would rather actually get a bunch of demos, like, have to do a bunch of demos on Sunday. So, so we can have, um, people playing Malifo. And then we can start to, uh, trickle them over to the guild ball. Say, hey, guess what? We also played this game. <laughs> is pretty damn good as well. But again, the frustrating guild ball thing is the same. It's still the same frustration, though. Right? We cannot get... We cannot get them the way we want. I should splash a little bit of red, like in little spots here and there. Right? Just to kind of break up, like I love how there's just a random plumber's crack in the middle of all that. They pushed the vent on so the the mouth of it. No, I didn't. I totally forgot. I should share it over there. Oh, man. I'm kind of feeling this dude. I just totally worked up that blend there. Oh, well. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Sean? Welcome to the feed. Hey, underdog painting. Yeah, doing well, man. I hope you're doing well, too. I'm just painting up some, some of this Malifaux. That's a fun sculpt. This guy is a fun sculpt. And we just do a quick job on him. Man, he might have to be part of the demo tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but next time I do demos. Sunday. I should 
your pin in the other one so that uh, if I have a because the demo is 25 soul stones so I can do Nicodem, Vulture, Mortimer and two of these <laughs> and so it's totally non-combative at first it would paint pretty quick damn it because I need that enough to I want to see all those tonight <clears throat> oh no 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 She has the lemon pledge. Lemon, lemon pledge. Damn, now I kind of need to field her just so I can do that voice. <laughs> no, I do, I do, I do. We're gonna shower. Cool. Dang man. This may these may be some of my favorite Rezor models. Although God, I love Rezor models. I really do. I need that in the morning in my life, dude. I need a, I'm gonna paint a couple of nurses. I'm gonna paint Sebastian. There's another flesh construct. McMorning is dope, but I have the metal McMorning. I think like the metal alt McMorning is even better in my opinion. All right, that other thing is still drying, so we are still painting. What makes you sad? What makes you sad, man? I was going to see if Andrew had Friday off. Hey, Sean, are you around Friday? Who's around Friday? <laughs> yeah, dude, McMorning is pretty awesome. And I agree, we do need Rezzers players. I've, I've made a vow though. Here, okay, I'll make this promise. If, at, if by the end of our event on the 18th, nobody, no new players or whatever, um, picked up McMorning that day, I will buy McMorning and I will play McMorning. Okay? You made me a oh, Nice, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, alright, so, if, if nobody picks up McMorning, I will pick up McMorning. But I want to give new players and other people interested in building out crews or playing crews the, the opportunity to play some McMorning. Like, one of the main reasons why I bought this crew instead of McMorning was I was like, well, it's a dead man's hand crew. You know, it's, I don't, I think for most people that makes them less enticing, you know, between this crew and Lilith and, uh, uh, Lilith, Kalodi, you know, Ramos. Some people are picking up Seamus. Yeah, Sean's playing Seamus. 
a bunch of us are getting alt Seamus. That reminds me, I need my eBay money, my uh, my PayPal money, so I can buy an Amelia Bathory, which is the female Nicodem. I kind of need that model, like a lot. Like I really need that model. <laughs> like it's fairly important to me that I get that model. Since I've, I've ordered uh, Mei Feng, I probably won't. I'll keep her for a little bit, but I don't think she's going to be permanently with me. Who knows, though? I could be wrong. You know, Pandora. I don't think Pandora is... Pandora used to be super negative play experience. I think they've kind of fixed her to where she's not. Like, she's still... She can still be somewhat oppressive to play against. But I don't think she... Is nearly as bad as she once was. Is um, getting a lynch crew ready for Sunday, so he's probably going to play Dreamer and Lynch, which should be pretty fun. I am still painting this. This zombie guy. Yeah, zombie. Oh, limo limo bleach. Masters. Yes, I would like to know what Masters is everyone playing Sunday. If I were playing, I would be playing Colette and probably Colette. <laughs> That's what I would probably. Morning's dope, man. He uh, he does a lot of manipulation around poison, which is fun. 
and he's relatively he can be somewhat quick and a, a good beater too All the weird angles. Chopping. Then I'm gonna play uh, Lazy J. Ugh. Rasputina, yeah. You should just have Jose show up so he has to give you the Wendigo. Because Jose bought the Wendigo. And we all know Jose is not going to play Malifaux. <laughs> let's, just, let's just clear the air. Oh, I see, yeah. Harpooning is pretty dope. Hoffman, I think, is pretty dope. Honestly, I like him. The Choffmans. Although, if I have the choice between keeping Hoffman and Ramos, I'm picking Ramos every time. Damn, this is a fast job. <laughs> this is no joke. We're just, oh, let's do both. That's a fast job, man. Oh, cool. You understand how he works now? Nice. How about in general? Everybody else, like what masters are people playing? She kind of reminds me of, uh, uh, Mama Fratelli from the Goonies. You know, McCabe and Jan Lowe. Yes. Perdita is gross. She's no longer, is she defensive eight still or no? Or did they fix that? Oh, she's six. Does she have a? Does she have like a quick draw trigger or something like that? Her sheet seven. That makes sense. Actually, it makes sense that her sheet is seven. That's a crew that Dreamer does not want to run into. Is Perdita. Perdita is a somewhat hard counter against them. Alright, let's glue. Look at that, we snuck. 
when you snuck the other grave robber in. Because why not? Just two, three, four back. To, uh, like, like what Lady J does with her post. It's crazy that those used to be triggers. You you would have to defensive trigger for repost. Um, although I don't recall if Perdita was always if she always had that auto thing. I forget. What did I do? Let's do a couple of. Uh, Tough sun here. Let's give them a little bit of character. <clears throat> Man, I kind of, I'm kind of liking this abuela grave robber better than the the big grave robber. Get through the breach, nice. Okay, let's start sealing stuff and then we can call it a night. That was productive. We get stuff done. Cassandra was done like an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, you need that blessed. Blessed December is really strong. I, I, I kind of feel like, well, probably the two main things you, in my opinion, you need, you need blessed of December and you need silent ones ASAP. Uh, where's my sand varnish? Seal her up. Yeah, in case I haven't mentioned it already, guys, I do have, I did get a new um, video set up for, um, for shooting battle reports. So, if you guys are around Friday, I would be interested in filming some. Also, if you didn't know, Michael from up north, who played in Kingdom Con, who was the other Masons player, uh, I'm picking him up Friday from the airport. So he will be down for some guild ball. I got a scheduled game with him. I plan on recording that. So fast. Yeah. That's why I was like, I think I may lose, end up losing Thursday this week, but we'll have time, we'll have some opportunities for games. Show that up. Uh, me, oh, my son painted the minis of the month. <laughs> so here's his job. I did. I should have painted the thing black, but I'll seal them for now. Since I still have varnish in my 
Am I good? Um, well, I'm probably going to be there, like, pretty close to opening, because he, uh, flies in. I pick him, I'm picking him up at John Wayne at, like, 10.30 or something, so he should be there, like, right as it's opening. And then I'll be there till probably 4. Nice. Nice, nice. I'm happy with that. That was good. That was super productive. Got those done. Now it's just like, now it's just kind of like miscellaneous, not as important stuff I need to put, put together and paint. Okay, here. Well, let's do it real quick. I have, an, I have essentially what is an extra one of these. So I'll glue this guy down to his base. Let me get my... Where'd he go? Where my glue? Can't find my glue. Oops. Yeah, this guy's just this guy's just chilling on my desk. Since I already have a fire golem, and I really don't see a situation where I would have two. As cool as that sounds, oh, Bernie man, stay, stay, Bernie guy. Yeah, marbles with built-in counter charge. Pretty damn strong, dude. Where's... Well, I am just bad at this. Hold on. I thought I had another one of these. I thought I had another one of those. I do, but... Eh. Cannot find it. I could do this broken one. Dude, wait, I think I have another one. Pretty sure, dude. Why do you? I have a bunch of these. That one's yeah, that one's kind of crusty. Let's use that. Let's use this, these two. Oh wait, never mind. Oh crap. Ah. I do have a couple like that. Nice. This is just extra stuff. I'm going to have to paint this thing at some point. Uh, where's that kicker? Wrecker had a good run. Yeah, right? Do you even want a field wrecker anymore? I do kind of like this round one. <laughs> 